Hi guys, I'm here with my M Super V3 S Plus. That's a 1600 watt hour version, 84 volt wheel. And uh, I got a couple new items from uh, Matthias, otherwise known as EU Guy. I'm sure most of you guys watching this know who I'm talking about. He made me these uh, new spacers for the side pads. And uh, they're shaped such that they will uh, push out, and I'll show you when I install this, they'll, they'll push out the side pad in the front. And uh, supposedly that's going to help a lot in climbing hills. And Matthias likes to ride a lot of hilly areas like I do. And any of you guys out there who have this wheel know that uh, it's not the best of hill climbers because you, you really got to squeeze the shell to push it forward to get it to climb and uh, that kind of gets tiring on the legs to do that all the time. So apparently with these installed there's much less squeezing the shell and more just leaning. So I'm really excited to uh, try that. He also sent me this uh, mud guard which I don't have a lot of use for, for these in Southern California since it uh, essentially never rains and when it does I'm not riding. But every once in a while I do ride in areas uh, like I've taken this down to the beach. So um, I, I will uh, enjoy having this on the wheel and I'm excited to see that it fits the M Super X which I'll be getting. Once I get that I'm probably going to be using that a lot more than this guy. So I did, uh, by the way, I did buy these. These were $45 shipped. Got them in a week and a half, something like that. And uh, so let me uh, show you installing them. Let's take a look at this mudguard first. It's a lot smaller than it looks online, uh, but I like it. I like this small size. He sells a bigger one, but uh, I don't know. I think this has a much more refined look to it and it's just as functional from what I see. Easy to install, just slides in here and uh, what he says it's nice and strong so even if I crash the wheel it might pop off but uh, it's not going to break. It's very cool. Thanks, Matthias. Okay, well, installing this should be pretty easy. This part is going to be peeling out this pad, probably. I'm trying to leave the the, the actual um, the existing tape on the pad because uh, trying to get that off the pad will be more more likely to tear the pad. Well, this is coming off a lot easier than I thought it would. Maybe I'll be able to reuse the sticky part here. He uh, puts this pre-applied pre, uh, um, tape. 3M looks like probably the good stuff. <laughs> he labels these too, so you can't, you can't uh, Screw it up. It fits, it fits like a glove, perfect. And I imagine even if this kind of, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I'm not sure what the, which double sided tape he used, this 3M stuff, but uh, it's the good stuff. But if it were to come loose over time, you could just apply new tape. So I'm going to try and just reuse this existing tape. I, I can put fresh stuff on if I need to.
yeah, I think the existing adhesive, adhesive is going to work pretty good. Well, that was pretty easy, pretty quick. Definitely gives a unique uh, shape to it. Very cool. By the way, um, there should be a link down in the, in the description in this video um, where you can buy these if you like what you see here. Let me do the other side. Okay, installed. Hopefully you can see how it adds this nice taper. This, uh, this didn't occur when I installed it. I had this chunk torn out of the pad quite a, quite a while ago. But um, yeah, I just uh, took it around the block right now just to see, get a feel for how, how it uh, feels. And it feels great. Uh, very barely adds any more thickness back here and uh, yeah just apply slight pressure against the shell with your legs and then when you lean forward it it does really feel like your legs lock in to the wheel so I'm optimistic I think this might be a something like this might be a really winner big winner for the M Super X which I really think needs some modified pads so next up, I'm going to take this to my mountain proving grounds right now, and uh, let's see what happens. Hi guys, I'm uh, here at my uh, mountain proving grounds, and I'm going to be giving uh, these new side pads a, a workout on these hills. Uh, hopefully they work out as good. Good as I'm anticipating. Let's see what happens. That's a success. Um, yeah, it's nice. You don't have to uh, squeeze the sides. Just kind of gently, gentle, you know, press against the side and just lean. This is a nice upgrade. I'm going to look forward to getting something similar like this from uh, Matthias for my uh, M Super X. I hope you're working on this, Matthias. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be watching closely. All right, let's try some more of the steeper hills. See, the pad is coming off a little bit. I just need to, I was depending on the old adhesive on the pad, so I, I need to put some new double stick tape. But uh, otherwise, they're, uh, they're great. Loving it.
hill. This is a very steep hill that's always a challenge with all the wheels. So I think this will be the ultimate test for these side pads. See how they help. See how it goes. Hopefully you can see that's a challenge. Uh, temperature's up to 76 degrees C. Whew, got ways overheated, about 79, 80 degrees. I was originally going to think about taking this up over Heat Hill, but uh, not today. Southern California, we're in a, a heat spell right now, and the wheel's overheating. <laughs> ah, it's been a long time. I've ever overheated a M Super. Yeah, 79 degrees. Once you stop the airflow, you know, you, you no longer have an airflow over the wheel, so uh, it, it gets hot. Just turn it off. Um, yeah, we got a heat spell going on in Southern California right now. It's going to be about 105, 110 degrees today. It's, uh, 9.30 in the morning and it already feels like it's in the mid-80s. So, uh, this would never make it up over the hill. Alright, have a little more, uh, let this cool down a bit and have a little more downhill fun and, uh, call it quits for the day. I think these side pads are, uh, worthwhile investment if you're, uh, hill climber like me, or Matthias, and I really look forward to getting something like this for the M Super X, since that's going to be my new 18-inch uh, wheel pretty soon. Talk to you guys later.